welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Tasha. Today's video is going to be a clothing haul, which I am so excited about because you guys probably know I love doing clothing hauls and I haven't done one in quite some time, at least for me. So I have a good amount of stuff here that I'm really excited to show you. Before I get on into the clothes, I have to do a little self promo. If you guys want to see me styling these outfits, definitely follow my Instagram. I post a lot of outfit photos and I've already posted some photos in these items. I kind of cheated, but it's just at Tasha. It would mean the world to me if you followed me on there. Okay, so this haul is kind of miscellaneous in the fact that it's a lot of different stores and it's not a lot from, you know, like one or two stores. So kind of bear with me on that. I am going to be linking everything down below so you won't get all confused or whatever. Okay, I'm going to start off with Urban Outfitters because it's a fan favorite. So basically this haul, I'm calling it a fall haul because I do have some sweaters and stuff. I go to school in Los Angeles, but I'm from New York and I'm actually going to Florence, Italy in November to visit my best friend who's studying there. So I got some sweaters and stuff for that, but this haul is kind of like half sweaters and stuff for Florence and home and then half for, you know, LA winter, fall. Okay, first is actually just these scrunchies. I haven't opened them yet. I've tried to not open or wear this stuff until I filmed the haul, which has been hard. I've worn a few things, but I saved these scrunchies. They're just velvet scrunchies. I think they're really cute. I love the colors of these and I wanted to test out some scrunchies so I grabbed these from Urban. Next thing from Urban is something that I really really needed and I love. It's just this lacy black bralette but I pretty much wear this with specific tops. I'll show you some later on in the haul. Okay and then I grabbed a sweater from Urban. Some people might think this is really ugly. I think it's cute, but it also could be ugly. <laughs> it looks like this. It's striped with some pinks and then a burnt orange, and then the sleeves are black and white striped. I just pictured this with some black jeans and some black booties in the fall, and I thought it was really cute. I like the colors, but I could definitely see how someone <laughs> would think this is ugly, but it's really, really cozy, and I'll definitely be wearing this in Italy. Okay, moving on, I got some stuff from H&M, which I never usually shop at H&M. I feel like I go in there and it's kind of overwhelming and there's not a lot of stuff that I like and I just never really buy anything. But <laughs> basically, I am going to go to a career fair at USC for my major and I needed to get some professional clothes to wear to it. I really don't have anything professional. I mean, I have so much clothing, but I didn't feel like anything was up to par for this. So I was looking on H&M's website and I actually found some really cute stuff. I got a shirt for the career fair and then I also found two other things that I really, really like. Before I show you the shirt that I got for the career fair, know that the reason I'm going to this career fair is there's one company there that I'm really interested in and they are a fashion brand. So I wanted to pick out items that were professional but still trendy so this is animal print which I know would probably come off of as like not professional to some of you guys but I think because the company I am looking at is very trendy I thought this would be fine so I grabbed this cheetah print top by the way there's a lot of cheetah print in this haul I'm kind of obsessed with it right now it's my favorite trend of the season it's just this kind of like high neck cheetah print top and then it has some little flare sleeves, but I got pants to wear with this later on. I'll show you in the haul. Okay, and then the other two items I got from H&M, I am so in love with. I think I'm going to wear one of these out tonight, and these are also what I would wear that black bralette with. They're just these little silky lace tank tops. So this one is like a nude color, and it's just really pretty. The straps are so dainty, and it just has some lace, and then they go down. So I was thinking of wearing this with like the black lace bralette and then like a leather mini skirt out with black booties, really cute. And then I also wanted to get it in black because I was picturing the black one tucked into like high-waisted light wash jeans and maybe my Gucci belt. I thought that would be really cute. Guys, I have this basket <laughs> full of all of like miscellaneous stuff so I'm gonna dive into that. I have two items from Forever 21. By the way that's where this top is from. I got it a while back but it's a little banana printed top but anyways I got these two tanks that I'm really excited about. I already wore this one in an Instagram post but it's basically this oversized knit 
tank top and I also wore the black bralette with these and then I also picked it up just in this cream color and I think this is really good for an LA fall because it's still a knit material but it's a tank top <laughs> okay going along with the animal print from Zara I got one thing it's just this pair of cheetah print jeans which are a bit aggressive but I think they're really fun and these are like a they're kind of a straight leg the bottoms flare out a bit these were actually a little longer I cut them they are raw hem but they're raw hem when I got them and I thought they were really really funky and cool I guess I might as well just show you all the cheetah print stuff now <laughs> I ordered this sweater from what's it called and other stories I've been to one of these stores in London but I know they have them in the US. Anyways, I really wanted a cheetah print sweater. I think they're really, really cute. And I love this one. I'm just hoping it's not too itchy. It feels kind of itchy, so I might have to wear like a long sleeve shirt under it when I wear it, but it looks like this. I really like, I don't know. I just really like how this one looks. It has some black trim on it. Okay, last animal print item from the haul is this dress from Princess Polly. Looks like this. I really like this one because the sleeves, not the sleeves, the ties, what? The shoulders tie. I think that's a cute detail and I really like how this looks layered over a graphic band tee. I have this super emo Fall Out Boy shirt that I thrifted. If you guys saw my thrift haul you probably saw that but that underneath this with like some chunky boots or platform sneakers is really cute so this is fun. Okay I have two items from Shopbop so I'm gonna show you those. First is this pair of jeans. These are Levi's and the fit is super weird on these. I got my normal size. The review said to size up and it's weird because these fit me in the waist but along the hips and butt they're super tight. These flatten my butt like a pancake but I think they look really cute other than my flat butt. <laughs> they're just these light wash jeans with tons and tons of rips which I really like and then I thought the back of them was the really cute part they have a little butt slit which I like this one because it's not intense I posted a photo in them it's not intense so that you're like what the heck is that but it's like a tasteful butt slit you know what I mean <laughs> okay and then from shop up I got a pair of shoes from my favorite shoe brand soul sauna let me show you my favorite shoes from them okay so I wear these shoes all the time if you guys see my Instagram or watch my videos, you probably know I wear these all the time. I have another pair of mules that are snake print by Solsana. I love them. So I was looking for those black pair in a white nude color and I couldn't find them anymore, but I did find them with a flat heel, which is honestly probably better for me just because I'm always walking to class and I hate walking to class with a heel. So these are the flat version. I mean, they're pretty much the same. These are not as pointed toe but they're just a cream color. I wore these once, that's why they're kind of dirty, but I love these. I think they're really cute. They go with everything and they're super easy to walk in. So I grabbed these from Shopbop. Okay, next I actually have a lot of items from Shop Redone. They sent me a little package, which I'm so thankful for. Thank you so much to them. They are on the pricey side, but I think their denim is incredible. So if you are in the position where you can splurge a little bit on denim, I definitely recommend it. And they have awesome other items as well. So I'm going to show you. Okay, so my favorite jeans of all time are by Shop Redone. So I got another pair of those. They are the High Rise Ankle Crop. My favorite pair of high rise jeans by far. Like I said, if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, I totally recommend them. So I got another pair of those. I have like a light light medium wash and also the black wash. So this is kind of their darker wash, but they're so perfect. I'm either gonna cut or roll the bottoms because I'm only five foot one, but they're just the perfect jean. The quality is amazing. I love the fit. They're not super tight, but they're not baggy. And they're really high-waisted. They hide any like squishiness. <laughs> I've been feeling really, really squishy lately. So these just like keep everything in. What I think Shop Redone is known for really is revamping Levi's and customizing them to more current fits, current washes. And they sent me a pair of their Levi's and these are incredible. Like these might be the coolest jeans I own and I own a lot of pretty cool jeans. <laughs> but basically these are their studded redone Levi's. So as you can see there's studs on the pockets there. And then there are studs all down the leg. But these are so cool. They have like 
really nicely placed distressing. It's not anything crazy, but it's just really nice and I think these are so awesome. Do you guys hear that? There are the weirdest noises in my apartment. Like every morning at 9 a.m., I'm pretty sure whoever lives above me blasts EDM. And it's not so much that I can hear the exact songs, but I can feel it. And it's the oddest thing. And then it stops by like 10.30. It's so weird. Back to Shop Redone. They also sent me a little like matching sweatsuit, which I love. I actually wore this hoodie to class yesterday. This is just a gray hoodie and then it has their little logo here. I'll come in closer. Hopefully you can see that, but it's really cute and embroidered and then it has some little studs on there. And then they also sent me the matching sweatpants, which are so cute and really, really comfortable. I'm excited to wear these to say the least. I also love their basics. They sent me this one graphic tee, which is so cool. It looks like this. It says, not yours, never was, which is just amazing and sassy and I love it. <laughs> this is my favorite little plain tee that I have. I have it in black and I love it. So I was so happy to get it in white. It's just a plain little t-shirt and it's slightly cropped, but it's not cropped where that you'd see your stomach. Cause like I said, lately I've been feeling really squishy and I just don't want my stomach out. <laughs> so this is perfect because it's still that cropped length, but it's not like stomach crop, you know? And the last thing from Redone, by the way, these two t-shirts are the Hanes line of Redone. So super cool. This one is just a plain black tee, which is really nice. I actually needed one of these because I shrunk mine in the wash. <laughs> Continuing on to the miscellaneous stuff. I don't know why, but I always wanted a rag and bone graphic tee. I think one of my friends forever ago had this one graphic tee from rag and bone and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I saw this one on Saks and it was on sale. And I just thought it was so cool, so I grabbed it. Basically this rag and bone graphic tee, but then it has some embroidered flowers over the front. I just thought it was really cool. This with some jeans, any of the jeans I've showed would be just really easy and cool at the same time. Oh, here are the pants that I got for that career fair. They're just these black pants from Express. I love Express because they have short lengths and petite lengths. So I got, I think I got, I got the short in this kind, but they're just plain black pants that have like a tie around the waist. So I thought these were really cool and functional for a professional setting, but also something that I would wear again. From Reformation, I got one thing. I got a fanny pack. I really love fanny packs now, and I just thought this one was so adorable. It's this little woven leather fanny pack. The only thing about this is it fits me on the tightest one. Let me show you. So if I put it on the tightest one here, it fits me, but then this whole flap is like hanging off. So I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to just cut this. And then there's like this flap too. I don't know, I feel kind of bad cutting this because it wasn't cheap, but at the same time, I don't really want these flaps hanging off. So yeah, let me know what you think I should do, but this is really cute. Okay, this dress is from Revolve, and I actually was gifted this by Dote for the Fiji trip that I went on, and it's really cute, but it's so weird that I had to show you guys. I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like on the model, if it's still available online. So it looks normal, right? Well, I receive it, and this is what the dress looks like. Really cute, it's all open back. On the Dope Fiji trip, we had like a white party, so I was going to wear this to that. But guys, this front panel is so short this way that my nipples are literally like out on the sides. Like, it's like shirt, nipple, nipple. Like my nipples are literally in this little see-through area. And I'm so confused because I don't know how the model's nipples aren't just out. So if I want to wear this, I have to wear a bralette underneath, which looks fine, but then it's like the back is open, so then you can see the bralette, it kind of ruins the purpose. So this dress is really cute if you don't mind wearing a bralette with it, but the whole like nipple out thing is so odd to me. <laughs> okay, and the very last thing in this haul video I actually purchased on Poshmark. If you guys want to follow me on Poshmark, I'll put my closet down below, I'm always listing things, and I'll also put my little discount code. So anyways, I'm always on Poshmark and I found this really cute vintage sweater so I had to show you it. Once again, this might be kind of itchy so I'm gonna have to get like a long sleeve bodysuit or something to wear under these but this is what it looks like. It's just black and it has these little cherries on the front. 
so adorable and you can tell it's vintage from the tag there you go you can see just how old it looks <laughs> yeah i just thought this would be super cute with some denim maybe a denim skirt i love cherries right now and i just love that this was vintage Woo! so that was everything i hope this video satisfied your haul cravings i know i haven't done one in a while but i feel like this was a lot of stuff so hopefully it makes up for it. Like I said, be sure to check the description if you guys want any of these pieces. And yeah, as always, I love you guys so much and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.